Hello everybody, it's Juniper Bloom Mystique, Goddess, Master Healer, and Ascension Expert Bringer of Out. <laughs> um, I'm here today because I have decided to call back my power, call back all of my light, make everything in my existence perfectly right. No matter who around me decides to hate their life, I'm choosing to love mine. I'm choosing to see my beauty, my light, I'm choosing to stand in my power, and I'm choosing to still love myself, even if others do not. After my unspeakable, unfathomable, unmentionable twin flame journey came about, I have decided I'm not going to let this person take me down. I choose happiness, I choose light, I choose love, I choose beauty, and I choose to make everything all right. I will be using the heart chakra bowl. To help open up our heart space and attune the energy of this meditation. After the trauma that I've been going through since August, actual trauma, my vessel took a toll. There's been some movement around my space, which I thought was detrimental, but was probably very beneficial to my soul. I suddenly woke up today knowing and needing to call back my power, my light, and do a protection for everybody on my channel, as well as clear energy on my channel that does not belong as well as raise the vibration of those on my channel and myself and help with calling on Archangel Michael and any other beings and angels, especially Raguel. Raguel is stepping forward. Raguel is going to help us raise the vibration as well as protections with Archangel Michael and Metatron. I'm excited. <laughs> so this is one of the meditations I have coming forth. I'm going to also do an abundance one, and then I'm going to do a self-love one for Patreon. So buckle up, get ready for the ride. I am taking back my power and my light, and I hope you guys enjoy and can benefit in every way. Begin by taking some deep breaths here, focusing on your chest, breathing in deep into your belly, all the way down into your abdomen, deep, deep down into the bottom of your belly. And on the exhale, remove any tension, any stuck energy and any darkness that you may be feeling. Spirit's actually calling on you to do something for me. So you're not going to just be sitting still. You're going to stand up if you can. Do this meditation when you can actually participate fully would be beneficial for you. So stand up wherever you are. Hopefully you're in a safe place where nobody judges because we don't like judgment. Judgment is very low vibrational. So make sure you are free, especially with your in your own vessel. No judging of yourself either. you to imagine beginning to shake your body, jumping up and down slightly, moving your arms all around, imagining that you're a tree and you are shaking off any leaves and any debris, any twigs that are stuck that no longer have life support to them. Anything on you that is no longer of you that serves you no more purposes. Just imagine shaking your vessel. Don't imagine. Actually shake your vessel up and down. Jumping up and down. Shaking your arms up and down on your side. Your hands. Everything moving. Continue this movement standing up. And imagine everything falling off of you that is not needed. That is not securely of you. That does not make you feel light and bright. 
All of this is being shaken off now. Keep shaking. Shake, 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 shake. Jump, jump, jump. Move, move, move. Sway side to side. Move your body. Move your arms. Move your fingers, your toes, your head, your shoulders. Everything needs to move. Removing all stagnant debris. Removing all attachments at this time. So creator of all that is was already called upon. Archangel Michael is coming forth with his sword. Archangel Metatron. Saint Germain is stepping forward. Commander Ashtar is stepping forward. Ooh, all of the beautiful goddesses, goddesses too. Excuse me, Athena. I'm getting excited. <laughs> it's been a minute since I've had my fleet. <laughs> so forgive me for my excitement. Raguel is stepping forward as well. But they are cutting cords here of anything that is no longer of you, that serves you no purpose, and that has darkness attached to it as well. Because this one is going to be about also removing any darkness, dark entities that are trying to change the course of this ascension, that are trying to change the path of your highest self. Okay? We're also calling back our power that any may have taken from us, or stepped on our toes, or caused the ascension to go in places we didn't exactly want it to go. Raguel is, and this is interesting, so as you're jumping up and down, I'm seeing this cord that Raguel is placing from your vessel, and it's a beautiful light cord, you guys, and I've never seen this before. This light cord is going from your vessel as you're jumping up and down and shaking. Keep doing that for just a little bit longer. Really shake your body, shake your arms, shake your everything, raise your arms, move your body, break up this energy, anything that is not of you. Imagine it falling off of your vessel to the ground to be transmuted now. And as you're doing that and finishing that up, Raguel is taking a cord from your vessel, going through the crown chakra all the way down your silver cord of your spine, all the way through your root chakra and down into the core. It actually doesn't, I'm sorry, I've never seen this before. I expected it to go down. It does not go down. He's laying it on top of the earth's surface. He is laying it on top of the earth's surface and it's going across the earth to the pyramids, to the portals that I've opened up, giving you access to the most power and light, but allowing you to be in the ascension as well, like new ascending energy. So this cord is just allowing you to align where you need to align and making everything all right for the ascension. That's what this cord represents from Raguel, and it's a silvery cord. It's beautiful. He says you can stop shaking now, so go ahead and stop shaking your body. But as you stop shaking your body, feel into how it feels all the tingles, all the sensations, and your breath. How does your body feel? If there's any more tension, breathe light into that space and breathe it out upon the exhale. And rag you out with this cord. I've never seen this cord before, you guys. <clears throat> this cord again goes from above through your vessel onto the floor beneath your feet like the earth and it stretches along the earth and it's almost like i don't know why it's surface usually they ground them right but while it's on the surface it's still feeling its way into the earth so it still has little embeddings that's going into the earth so it's like you're being grounded with it as well but it's communicating with the earth it's communicating with all the pyramidal portals that i have activated and opened Lake Titicaca, Fiji, all of these beautiful energies that we have created are being called back in with this core, with this alignment. It's not going to the core of the earth. The core of the earth is totally different for whatever reason. And I haven't ever seen it like this before. Be mindful that cord might change color and energy flowing through, okay? It is to bring an ascension energy through you into the new world, basically to help bring the energy right and make it flow and align with all of the newness that we have created, all of the magic that is abound. Now, as you sit back down, hopefully you did participate. Go ahead and put your feet on the floor and your hands, palms facing up. You can be lying down if you wish. I prefer feet on the floor. I don't like the meditations where they're, they have their feet crossed. That actually bothers me. To me, it blocks energy. This is something I've seen since I woke up. I've continually told people to put their feet on the floor. And so that's just a little tidbit from a master. When your feet are straight, your legs are straight, and your feet are on the floor, it allows for energy to flow and access points to be given. We have chakras and openings at the soles of our feet for healing and feeling 
and being as well. And to connect those with the earth is super important, especially when we are in the now and the here, or what some might call meditating. So now that you are sitting back down, again, just calmly breathe. It doesn't have to be deep, deep breaths, but just focusing on your normal breath. Allowing your body to calm down ever more after shaking off all of that debris. Just remain in a calm state of being for just moments in time, focusing on your breath. And I am going to use my Howlite Crystal Persephone. She is a skull crystal, a Pleiadian skull. And I am going to ask her to open up all of your energy portals, energy centers, ascension spheres for you that we can access, um, that she can actually allow us access to around the globe. So these are apparently ascension spheres that are in the earth. These are earth ascension spheres that she wants to open up for you guys now. So just focusing on your breath. I haven't done this before either. This is all new. I like it a lot. But I see them within the earth. So they're laid about in different places of the earth. It's almost like they are deep down somewhere buried within these beautiful, magnificent places in the earth that nobody can get to, nobody knows how to get to. They're securely placed there by angelic, by the angelic realm. Um, that's the best way to describe it. And they're all over the earth, so she is going to access these. They have Lumerian energy, so they, they deal with Lumeria. Um, and again, I haven't done this before. This is new. Um, and they're all different, um, and whatever one connects to you is tailored for you, basically, at this time. Um, so they can be different ones, she's saying amethyst, toes, paths, um, just different different things, different elemental um, metals and, and things of that nature as well. Uh, it just depends on what is needed for your vessel, what is needed to help you align with these energies and make everything all right. It's the Lumerian energy for whatever that's worth. Just start to imagine that word, Lumerian, and focusing on your breath. She's asking also that you stop thinking in anything at all. Imagine you are being reborn right now. Imagine that your world is being written right in front of you, because in essence, it truly is. So it's like starting with a blank slate. What are you going to paint? What world are you going to imagine in front of you? That is what she's asking you to do, my crystal skull, Persephone. She is asking you to start imagining your blank canvas so you can start creating your world. There's nothing there. It's all new, all brand new. And it comes from this place called Lemuria from the beginning of time taking you back to the beginning of time, which I didn't know we were doing, so hopefully you appreciate this. <laughs> Just keep breathing. And apparently that's what that chord that Raguel placed with you has to do with as well. It's taking us back to the beginning of time. We are going back now to the beginning of time. Calling back all of our power, all of our light, removing all dark entities, beings, Fallen angels, grays, red rays, any beings that do not need to be in our existence at this time are going to be starting to be called through the portal now in this meditation as we make sure we call back our power and we make sure they have no feelers to grab into anything anymore. This was way more than I thought it was, per usual. We are getting ready for the blue gamma rays and the violet rays of the Ascension Portal opening. That is absolutely so. So Raguel is going to help start raising our vibration as we get going along this journey. Keep imagining that you are now in this beautiful new place, being reborn and written right in front of you. It's the beginning of time. It's called Lemuria. Everything is right. No heartache exists. Only love. Only love frequency. 
Raguel is going to start pouring into this cord that he has created. The most beautiful, eloquent light of love frequency from God's light, from the Marian time of the gods, all of the gods, not just one. All of this love and light is going to begin to be poured into this cord from the time of opening, from the opening of time, the portal of time. Going through this cord, slowly through your silver cord that has been created just for you. Communicating with the earth it's moving upon. And breathing this light, bringing this light, this love, this energy from the beginning of time, the myriad, all the way to you. As it begins reaching your outer energy field, it begins to communicate with your aura, with your energy field, to know who you are. Because it's going to take your frequency from where it's at now, and it's going to make it ever so vibrant and as high as it could possibly go at this time. As it's removing any negative cords or any negative energies in your aura field now. I do see some greys, I do see some fallen angels, so I ask apparently that both pairs, and again I haven't done this before, but I've heard it, Archangel Michael also step in to assist, that we start removing these entities, fallen angels, beings, greys, red rays, anything that is not of the light to be cleansed and transmuted and burned out of your aura field at this time. Burned out of your aura field, removed from attachments from you. I see a dagger. It's like an old warrior dagger from like Indian times. You know how they had like those really long sticks with like the arrowhead on the top of it? I see that sticking into somebody. That's being removed. This is just an outer layer clearing first. Outer energy so we can go inward. This light is coming from this cord all the way up through your silver cord and your spine. Allowing you to have the beginning stages of the most beautiful love flow from the divine, from the beginning of time, from Lumeria, for what once was lost now is found. My peace of mind, my safe and sound, bring back to me what was once taken, this cold, cold world no longer forsaken. As I said that, I see the portal opening up um, to remove the energies that do not belong here. I told you we will not stay stagnant forever. Ascension is now. It is happening. I can feel it through my body, through my vessel, through my bones, through my being, through every chakra. I can feel it in every bit of who I am. This ascension is very much so attached to me. I feel it through and through and very vibrantly. So you just keep breathing. The Empress Infinity now is ready to open the spheres beneath you that connect to you and attach you to those. So I'm just going to be quiet for her to do that. As she reads into each one of your energies, activates these spheres that are connected to the earth that are also connected to Lemurian time, the beginning of time. These are very powerful, powerful crystals. These are very powerful ascension spheres, connections. It's really an ascension energy portal, basically. It like, allows your energy to move, to be moldable, to be clear of all debris from whatever is keeping you back from your highest and best at this time. An angel. This is a female. Oh, I don't like to know their names personally. I don't. It gives them power, and I don't like to give them power. I don't want their power. I don't want to know their name. I don't need to know their existence. I call in anything that relates to this fallen angel, and apparently their other half as well. And 
and I remove them from this existence. Down the portal they go. Gone, gone, gone. Taking them back to where they need to go. They have no more power here. They cannot affect your mind space. They cannot affect your energy. They cannot affect your free will anymore. I also see a gray. I do see a gray. So it's almost like what they would call like those shadow figures. He's like low. He's down at somebody's legs, down at their feet. He like lays there and he moans and he moans and he moans. And he likes to make you feel depressed. He likes to make you feel unworthy. He likes to make you feel everything less. We are beginning to dissolve him now. Raguel is pouring this beautiful yellow light on him. And it's doing nothing but transmuting him into the light. So it's not removing him with haste. Apparently, they like to cause anger. We're removing the anger. We're removing the need to feel anything low, especially associated with these grays at this time. And as I say that, he's being pixelated from your existence. It's like they break them up into little particles and transmute them. And as that's happening, all the little particles are going into the world. Being removed from this planet now. We are removing the things that are no longer of here, starting now. In a big way. So be mindful. Spirit is asking. So Persephone is still doing her thing, but I have to give you what's coming through. And so there's multiple things going on for you, so just be mindful of that with these meditations. (sighs) Forgive me. Spirit is also asking me to recognize free will. Any free will manipulations will also be brought to the surface for all to see. So if your free will has been manipulated, Raguel is putting this bubble around you now. And it is yellow, translucent at the same time. And it causes, as he's doing this, and he's closing it around you. Of course, if you don't want to participate, you don't have to. But as he's putting this bubble around you, Anything that was not of you, anything that caused you to make decisions that were not of your free will, is being shown to you now, like a mirrored image reflecting back to you to see if it matches your free will. Anything made that was not of free will is removed from your existence at this time. You now have the ability to see clearly, to hear clearly, to feel clearly, and to move clearly to where you need to be, all of you, along your journey. This goes for every decision. This goes for everything that has been presented to you over these last few years that were not in the light, that were not made from free will. Anything created out of fear to make you do things, make you think you were doing the right thing, but in reality, is detrimental to your soul. Anything made not in free will is reflected out now. I see a lot of... As it were. Excuse me, I'm shifting a lot. Forgive me. There's a lot of energy shifts, you guys, so forgive me. As we're doing that, Raguel is pouring a, a yellow light with a white translucent backlight. Uh, a, a lot of yellow today, a lot of yellow healing coming from him, but it's going down your cord, going down the silver cord, going down that angelic connected cord to Lemurian light through the portal of time, taking you back to the beginning of time. Pouring this yellow light through that cord now to help heal you, to help remove anything that is not of the light. This is multiple layers. This is not external, this is also internal. This deals with our mind, our physical vessel, our neurological system, our cellular structure. Removing anything that is not of the light at this time. Allowing space to make everything right. Persephone is clearing your energy field and making sure you're all active with the ascension portal.
portals, these ascension spheres, these crystalline, magical crystals that are within the earth that are Lumerian. These are Lumerian crystals. They are different, different energy than what you're used to. You are being connected to those completely, allowing this energy to start understanding who you are and you understand who it is as it begins to slowly integrate into your energetic field, removing any debris that is keeping you held back at this time as well, keeping you small. Now it's time to call back our power. All of these cords are happening, all of these connections are happening. Archangel Michael, Goddess Athena, and Archangel Raguel are standing in front of each one of you now. They're going to, I want you to imagine that they're going to help you stand up and begin walking a beautiful path in front of you. So when you're ready, they are helping you stand up and slowly begin walking this beautiful path. Now they're showing me each one of you is going to have a different path. Somebody's walking the beach. Somebody's walking a stone path, much as in like medieval time frame. So it's almost like taking you back in time to different timelines. But you're all walking a different path. It looks differently for you. It feels differently for you. I do hear birds chirping. I see bunny rabbits. I also see rain. So it's not all bright and sunny and chirpy with animals. Some people are walking in the rain. Thunder and lightning and a storm about. We are going to change the storm into light as well. So whoever's got the stormy clouds surrounding them, we are going to remove them from your existence and bring in nothing but sunshine and bliss and abundance at this time. So instead of walking a gray path of a cold, rainy existence. It is beginning to now shine sunlight through and through and brighten your day in every way. Walking this beautiful path in front of you, being guided by Athena in front of you, Archangel Michael to the left of you, and Raguel to the right of you. Jophiel is also stepping in to help everybody feel for some reason, we've all felt unrest within our own skin, and that's what Joe Feel is bringing forward. Joe Feel wants us to feel beautiful, not judgmental of self. I feel like judgmental began becoming rampant all over the place. I am also seeing the crystalline grid activate, and we are putting up a shield of light. Putting up a shield of light as you're walking this path that makes everything right. No more penetrations from the dark forces. No more darkness can get in. It will be bounced off and sent through the portal as needed or where it came from. So as we're making our way down this path, we're going to work our way to the beautiful Garden of Eden that has a beautiful bench waiting for you to call back your power and your light. But as, that's, as we're making our way there, we're getting this beautiful protective shield being encased around us that was supposed to be done prior. I am uh, I'm tapping into the crystalline grid and the most beautiful energies of love and light. And I'm bringing them through this crystalline grid and connecting it to the shield that is going up all around the earth at this time. It's going up all around the earth. I'm seeing it being created right now as I'm doing this. And it's just going up all around the earth in this beautiful light, this beautiful globe of energy and love and support and light. This is the love that was going to make everything all right. I feel it in my loins. I feel it in my physical vessel. And I'm bringing it through for you. Creating a globe of protection around the entire earth and as I do that the earth is shifting back into its axis to sit just right where it should be so it wasn't quite right and I do I see it go boop right down into where it should be as the shield is completely placed with a little bit of haste because some beings are not happy and that's okay oh I feel it in burning in my throat so forgive me just a second
God's light protecting the earth now, just so, making everything right. They're letting me know I was being protected. And I'm thanking them now for that. But, uh. So now as we've placed the globe of protection of purest love and light, it's also affecting the cord that Raguel put through you. It's going through that cord as well, through your energy center, through your silver cord up your spine, down through you, connecting you to the earth, and allowing everything to be aligned and full of love and light and just right. For we are now protected the way we should have been this entire time. And as I did that, the portal opened ever so more. And it's really starting to call in what needs to be gone. We are calling all truths to surface and open. It is time, it is time. Bring back to me what once was lost. Bring back to me what was unrightfully taken. Bring back to me what was given while mistaken. Ugh. Bring back to me all of my light, cleansed and free. As I said that, we open up now at the end of your path to the Garden of Eden. And in this beautiful Garden of Eden, up ahead of you is this larger-than-life tree. There is a beautiful flower that is Lord Sananda's, or Jesus. It's his flower, and it moves and glows, and it's right next to this beautiful waterfall and a beautiful fountain. It's like this beautiful place where you have everything. So much connection, so much love, so much support and life. This tree of life and this water. The tree of life and this water. Those two elements embracing your energy as you walk in to the Garden of Eden. Welcome to this beautiful space. Welcome to what once was lost. Making it now, all is found. <laughs> as I said that, I felt a shift in the earth, so forgive me. It's like the light just came right back through. Boom! Right up from the core, all the way up through the crystalline grid, into the protective barrier. Ah! <laughs> it feels so good to me. Now, surrounding the fountain, next to the waterfall, and next to that beautiful white flower that is so much so alive, is a crystal bench waiting just for you. Each one of you has a different crystal bench. So just start walking your way up to it, one by one, two by two. Being guided by Raguel and Michael, Athena, and any other beings of yours that wish to guide you through. As you lay on your bench, they're going to assist you on laying on your bench. And as you make your way up to it and begin to lay down on your bench, they're connecting your energy field to this crystalline bench. It's like a crystalline grid in itself. And the bench is now being upgraded to the myriad times, to the beginning of time, the most power possible, the most magic power possible. And they're laying me down on one too, so forgive me. Wow. So mine actually has three different three different crystals. So be mindful of that as well. It can be multiple. I have rose quartz, I have amethyst, and then I have topaz. For whatever reason, topaz keeps coming up for me. Amethyst, rose quartz, and topaz. And I'm laying down on mine. Obsidian is also at the base of mine, so I need multiple things. So just be mindful. Yours can be many things. It can be one thing. And I also have a beautiful crow coming up to my bench and sitting on it with me at the, at the foot of my bench. And he's just sitting there. He's magnificently large. He's bigger than my feet, bigger than my hands, bigger than my head. He's a beautiful crow. And then I also have my blue jay. So I have a blue jay coming in as well. Look these birds up, you guys. They're coming to me and I want you to look them up because it's a part of enlightenment stages that they want you to recognize that I'm going through again. I don't know what that means. I'm in, I will listen to this later. I'm like, wait, what?
what. Um, but there's a blue jay coming to my chest, landing on my heart space, and staying to the left of me on my bench. And then I have a crow at my feet. Also my beautiful snake. This is a beautiful snake that I have once pulled out of my solar plexus. Coiled up next to me. Beautiful red. Red and black snake. Very beautiful, very shiny, very powerful. This is power. This is representing my power. This is my powerhouse. It's being activated at this time. So forgive me, I didn't expect all this, you guys. But they want you witness to it, so I'm doing it now. Now as that is happening, I see the gates opening up above. So above you in this beautiful sky is like the golden gates of heaven, much like I saw when my dad was dying. I saw the gates, they're beautiful. And they open up, they're very real. And they open up, and as they open up, that is where your power is gonna come back to you from. And all of the things that are not of you are gonna be sent back through this portal as well to be cleansed from the heavens above and return to which they came actually going to where they need to go because the ascension split is happening now. Oh. What is not of you may be painfully removed, so sometimes it doesn't feel good to just be mindful of that. I'm seeing things being removed from somebody's core. It's like, Ugh, and I can feel it like moaning, like, Ugh, like it didn't want to be removed. Being ripped out of the core of somebody sent back through the gates to be cleansed, transmuted, and returned to that which it needs to go. And I'm seeing the portal of time being having things being sucked through. Wow, and you can hear them as they go. Wow, one by one by one. Wow, it's like moaning. Darkness being returned to the old. The splitting of the two worlds is very much so happening now. This is the beginning stages of it. We have a few more processes to go. So they're acknowledging that as well. The blue rays, the violet rays, and the opening of the portal. So as all of these things are being called from you that are not of you, your angels, your team that are beside you, are helping to rid yourself of anything else that is not of you. Any more angels, any more things that are not of you, that do not belong to you, that cause you to do things that are not for you, that are not of your highest best. I also hear doubt, I hear expectation, judgment, galore, fear. All of this is being eradicated now, transmuted, and turned into the most loving, happy, energy-filled light. So Raguel is pouring a rainbow light rainbow liquid light, rainbow healing liquid down that cord from up above all the way down this cord running through your spinal column cord all the way down onto the earth and through into the portals connecting you now to the beginning of the time the most power you've ever felt and the most beautiful healing light going through your system as well as your aura making you ascension ready basically making sure all debris is removed from you and your vibration is now rising higher and higher and higher. So we are going to let him raise our vibration higher before we call back our power. Our power will be called back, matching the highest vibration possible that we can be raised to at this time. So just imagine you are now sitting on what looks like a kind of like a burner. You know how a burner gets warmer and warmer and warmer? What this one does is instead of making it hot, it's a vibration. And I haven't seen it like this before either. So your crystalline bench is kind of like now a vibrational speaker that's going to move vibrations higher and higher up into your system. Higher and higher vibrations up into your system. Now be mindful because they're saying as we do this, you may feel physical changes for the next few days physical changes because we're raising your entire existent vibration this way kind of quickly so be mindful so these these major vibrations are starting to come up like a coil through their bench and into your body raising your aura to a higher vibration and I feel that one whoa and I'm starting to see green light just flashing all around surrounding all of us, creating unity and infinity and love and light, connecting us all into one, into the knowledge
life so we all exist together and I don't want to say this but they want me to so I'm calling my twin flame light into the healing that it so deserves and needs regardless it's an opportunity in existence this vibration shoots higher and higher tuning it higher frequencies as your body can handle it. And as that's happening, Persephone, my crystal skull, is also helping raise the aura and the vibration of you and your bench, and she's helping integrate it into your system with these spheres, these crystals of the earth. They're also helping the vibration go really high of the protective bubble I have just placed on the earth from the crystalline grid from God's love and light. Allowing all twin souls to unite in love maximum power, even if mine chose against. Allowing it to do whatever it needs to do with the highest hopes possible, because that's what love does. That's what love is. Love conquers all. More darkness going down the portal as I did that. So it's like this vibration is filling up our space, but it's starting to emanate outside of us too. And so anything that doesn't match these frequencies cannot stay in our existence. They just cannot. They are beginning to fall off this earth. That's why they were trying so desperately to keep our vibration lower. Because it's rising so high now, they cannot stay here. So not only are we rising the vibration of you, we're also raising that vibration of the earth. Turning that dial up. Turning your personal dials up another notch. And as I'm doing that, Raguel is pouring different colors of light down your cord. There's green, there's blue, just whatever is needed for you to help match that vibration through and through. Bringing in the frequencies through your whole entire existence. We haven't even called back our power yet. Can you imagine? <laughs> I love this one quite complex. Couldn't have made it up if I tried. I love this. Thank you, angels. The earth's vibration going up another octave, as well as your personal vibration tuning up another tone. Now, I can feel it into my core. It's like all the way through that vibration coming through, and I can see it vibrating the water in the Garden of Eden. It's so beautiful. So the vibrations are affecting the water. Oh, oh, they are affecting the water. Ooh, ooh, I am seeing some big movements in the water, you guys. So just be mindful. Our timeline is completely back to where it should be. So again, the earth just went boom, deeper down into her place. And as I did that, more entities were just removed. So be mindful. Big shifts are inbound. Raising the vibration further and further. Two more notches for the earth and one and a half for you to do it slowly because we're going to go higher. Raising the vibration more and more. Keep raising that vibration gets turned up another notch, then your physical vessel, opening up your heart space to receive the highest vibrational light as well. A couple more, they said, is what we can go. We're going to raise the earth one more vibration to the Lemurian time. Lumerian vibrations. These are high vibrations. Very, very, very high vibrations. Ones you've never heard before or felt. Very high vibrations. Beautiful. Healing. Opening. Life changing vibrations. And now we're matching the earth vibration tuning your physical vessel even more. Two more times up. 
raising your vibration. And he's pouring another color down that cord as he raises your vibration one more time. Super important to watch what you put in your vessel for at least a couple days. We're almost ready to call back our power as well. Our power will come back completely matched to the vibration we now have. Each one of you are getting an upgrade in your heart space, in your Merkaba, and matching it to the crystalline grid of Lemuria. So it's like <clears throat> your Merkaba is not, uh, it was like being dormant. Parts of it were dormant that were aligned with Lemurian times. That's the best way to describe that. So it's like part of your Merkaba that was dormant is now being lit up. Space while they do that and raise your vibration one more time, matching all of this Lemurian light and love frequencies from above, allowing it to make everything right, eradicating what is not of us, and anything that was false is reflected through and through. Nothing can be brought through that is not true. So see purple. Purple is going down the cord from Raguel. Beautiful purple. We're all getting purple, so it's like the violet flame purple going through the cord. It's a violet flame energy, violet flame liquid going through the cord now. All the way up from above, the heavens above, down this cord into your chakra, down your spinal cord, column cord, whatever you want to call that. All the way down through your root, and through this cord on the earth, all the way into the time. Allowing your energy to flow, that's what it's about. Creating a connection of flow and love and light and protection like we should have had this whole entire time. Now, each one of you are getting a gift in your third eye. It's like a, it could be a crystal, it could be a symbol. Each one of you are getting a gift in your third eye now. Athena is handing most of your gifts. Metatron is doing it as well, as well as your beings that are for you. So each one of you have your own set of beings. But you're all getting a gift into your third eye now. Again, could be a could be a symbol, could be a crystal, could be anything you need. It could have to do with your gifts as well. So pay attention to what it is and be willing to look it up or feel into it later. Malachi is also coming in with his blue wings. So he comes in with beautiful blue wings, and he's like what I want to call sky writing. So he's got like a blue energetic healing pen, and he's writing a story. And that's what he's showing me. He's like writing a story now as we speak. So remember your blank canvas? You're now beginning to write your story. You're beginning to write your future. You're beginning to write your love journey. Because that's what it's supposed to be about. Love. And that's why I'm not supposed to be alone as well. None of us are. So that is being recognized and healed at a soul level. At an earth level. At a God level. Any negative entities, they also want me to clear the earth, not just us individually, right before I call our power back. Okay, so any negative entities that are still embedded in this earth, any negative grays, any nef 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 what are they called? Necrites? Necrites? Um, not exactly. Anything that does not belong here is being called forth out of the earth now. So I see them starting to rise out of the earth. They don't mass the match the vibration. So all things will be brought to the surface that way. The vibration is now too high. So it will start to get clunky and weird and shifting and people you once knew you may not know anymore. So be mindful. They are being removed from the earth. I see them being brought out. It's like the, the vibration is pushing them out. So it's not like they're getting plucked out. They don't match the vibration at all any longer. It's like, it's like the vibration is pushing them out and pushing them out. And as they exit the earth, they're going through the portal. They're being removed from our existence at this time. They're beginning to. It's going to happen more frequently, quicker, and in a mass way very soon. So just be mindful. This is happening now, but it's going to happen in a mass way very soon. But we are finally protected. And so start tuning in to this beautiful white globe around the earth and shine your light every chance you get into that globe, into that earth protected light. It is made of love, Christ-like love, 
unconditional love all around from the crystalline grid in the earth all the way around the earth protecting all of us that belong here with the ultimate magnificent power of love nothing negative can penetrate through anymore nothing negative can take you out of your highest space any longer nothing can convince you of where you don't belong anymore they're still being plucked one by one. I see a lot of anchoring into the earth. So there's like a lot of anchors that were like dug in, like poof, we've landed, like poof, put your anchor in so we don't float away type of a thing. Those are being removed in chunks. And I also see again in the Atlantic Ocean, a big massive spaceship being removed. So it's in the Atlantic Ocean. It's deep embedded in the walls. And I have pulled this out one other time, but not only are we pulling it out, it's being removed. It must go, it must go, it must go. cold, cold world, no longer forsaken. What once was mine, now realigned. As that happened, I saw the earth shift one more time and like all these light grids came into one, you guys. It was like all these light grids came into one and I see all the gods, I see all the time, I see all the timelines. It's really weird. So I can see the beginning timeline. I see Atlantis. I see uh, I see uh, Egyptian. I see I see all of these things coming into play, and it's like one by it was like flipping a page, one by one by one by one, all being brought to the surface, taking us back, 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 back to the beginning of time, where everything is right where everything is light. But even better, nothing that matches this, that doesn't match this frequency can be here anymore. Okay, now they're ready to call back your individual power and the power of the earth. So there is still some power of the earth that was taken. It's almost like a life force energy that somebody takes that they suck out of it. That was also part of that thing in the Atlantic Ocean. That is part of that thing. There's some things in space. Um, what looked like once was like a satellite or something. Um, but they would take the earth's energy, like life force. It's like sucking the life force out of something to give yourself life force. That's kind of how they're showing me. And that's coming from the sun, you guys. So hold on. I got to lasso the energy from the sun and we're going to pull it in. It's like lassoing it and pulling it in. Boom. Boom, boom, down to the earth. All of this light is going to make everything all right. Mm. Eradicating any darkness in its path. That's what the solar star is. It's going to make everything right. Bringing down all of the light. All of what once was. Realigning just right. So I do see things from like space that are just lost their path, like they just lost their power, they just lost their path, they cannot penetrate through, they cannot bombard earth anymore, they are no longer welcome here, we are now shielded in love and light, for I have managed to make it all right. Now we get to call back your power. I call back any and all power that once was taken, that once was given away that once was used in vain, that was lied to, manipulated, or just forsaken in any way. I call back all energy, all light that we were afraid to house, that we didn't understand, that we may have thrown by the wayside to fit in. I call back all power, all light from anything that was trying to take it to survive that was trying to keep you from your highest ascension possible. We call back all of our power and all of our light from any traumas of our childhood, from any sexual traumas in our lifetime, male or female, it does not matter. We call back all of our power and all of our light now to make everything all right, bringing back mass balance to the earth at this time. So there were a few more souls trapped in the earth that I'm releasing. So I do see a lot of caves and tunnels going around in the earth. And there were some souls trapped in those as well. So I'm just removing those now, setting them free. As I'm doing that, 
light is flooding the core of the earth all the way through those cave ways, all the way through the trauma that people have placed into the earth, shining the most love and light into them now. As we begin to see power, your energy, your light is coming back through the gates above, where they come back cleansed in the most power and light, and you may feel them start entering into your vessel as they come back as well, like foo, foo, or you may feel nothing at all. coming back. I feel one going into somebody's sacral chakra. I feel one going into somebody's solar plexus. I feel one going into the root chakra as well. This is a big one. This is a big one. Now as your pieces are coming back, the angels, the beings that are with you and Persephone, my crystal skull, is helping to integrate them into your system now. And making sure they match the highest vibration we've given you today be mindful there is physical symptoms absolutely happening with our headspace dizzy headaches these are all major ascension symptoms especially calling back your power today you're gonna feel it you may feel some major things major movements to subtle ones as well be mindful i'm also hearing kidney pain might be quite frequent with these ascension energies so i'm still seeing pieces of you pieces of your power pieces of your life force coming back from past lives all the way to this time, from anybody who took your power away and from anybody you gave it to, being called back and cleansed. Raguel is filling my heart space with the most beautiful pink goddess healing light and green healing space from all the trauma that was placed on me by fallen angels. Healing my connections, my power is also coming back as well. From my twin flame and from any beings he's attached to. My power is coming back now. I felt that one in a big way. crystalline benches just light up and the birds around me are just dancing on me and just oh, they, it's like when the power is coming back they're getting energized they feel it they're getting definitely restless and, and dancing and moving and flying and hopping they feel it now I'm doing an upgrade on our animals they're asking me to do this for our animals so an energetic upgrade just an energetic upgrade vibrational pull to match the vibration of the earth all animals on this planet now Oh my gosh, okay, so they anchored in our timeline with a massive white light, white light anchor. It's like, boom, and nobody's touching it again. Boom, nobody's touching it again. As we do that, it's eradicating more darkness through the portal. Um, and I'm seeing so uh, more souls um, that were trapped through lies. Um, Princess Diana is one of them. So lies of that nature, things of exposures. That's what that's all about, because the vibration is now much too high, and it's only going to keep getting higher, and so these things now are vibrating out. They are vibrating off of the planet as we speak. It is beginning to happen quicker and in mass amounts, so be mindful. As I do that, I see the bottom of the ocean and the Pacific Ocean shifted. It like shifted, it dropped, but to the right. Dropped, but to the right. I got chills in my left arm as I say those. Dropped to the right. Ugh, like, ugh, like I can feel it. Like, a, ugh. What? Ugh. All of our power being called back now. too that they open up our third eye and match that vibrational pull as well so be mindful right now you guys can tune in and try new things the veil is not there it is very easy to do things so please do them as 
as all of your power is being finished and completed, whoever is done, they are beginning to sit you up on your bench. There's just a couple more pieces left for others as they come back cleansed and high vibrational pull. Raguel is pouring again the violet flame down the cord, down through your spinal column cord, all of your root chakras, all of your energy system, and starting to align you and open up that energy for the movements ahead. Some of you are starting to stand up off of your bench, and you're being assisted because we feel like we're like, ugh, right? Very hard to move and function coming off of that bench, and that's okay. You're being assisted and guided. They are helping you up, helping you integrate into your body, your Merkaba, opening up and being aligned in this most beautiful crystalline love bubble. There's still a few fragments, so it's almost like glass fragments. So it's like they like to make you think you see something that you're not, and that is being removed from your mind space. It's like a false mirror being removed at this time. So there are false mirrors being removed at this time. Still, we're being placed because if you're vulnerable, you're easily manipulated. So that again, and I'll say it again, they are being removed when it's done with haste. I ask now that we shine the most amounts of love and acceptance into any feelings of lower vibrational tendencies of fear, of anger, of jealousy, and of judgment, and any of those alike. We eradicate them now with the highest light possible from Christ, from the crystalline grid, and from our bubble. Anytime they're asking you guys that you connect, draw light from the earth through your body and up into our protective bubble. Call on the love that is in the crystalline grid at this time. Draw it through your vessel and up into the protective bubble. Every time you do this as an individual, you are helping the collective and you are helping us as a whole. You cannot undo this. So if anybody is in a negative space and wants to undo the shield, they cannot undo it at this time. We are being highly protected now and once and for all. That's why I wasn't able to do this work. It makes so much sense to me now. So all of us seem to be standing up off the bench now, and the golden gates from above are closing. They do not stay open at any time. The portal of time will be widened for a short period of time as we start to eradicate in large amounts. Any darkness, anything that is not of us, there's one more anchor that I'm seeing being removed from the core, and it's like a dark, dark one. It's pitch black. I'm seeing the tunnels, the tunnels of destruction and despair being cut open. It's like cut open and exposed are the tunnels. Whatever that means for you, I know, but it's all for you. And they're also calming the vibrational pull of the collective to help with the mass awakening to help everybody feel calm.